You know what? I'm gonna try and use an analog microphone, my Boya microphone, on my Sony A7 III. I, I actually haven't tried this before. So I always use the Rode VideoMic NTG, which is an active microphone, or I use the Rode Wireless Go, which is stacked in here. I've never used the internal microphone and I've never used this. Now the idea for this is that I'm gonna have an easier job. It's not good as this microphone actually is. I mean, it's a, it's the cheapest microphone probably. I think it's like 40 bucks, 40 euros, dollars, depending on where you are. But it's so convenient. Now because it's so small, and I hate packing big microphones. Now the cool thing about this is that it's it doesn't add to the weight of the camera and it doesn't really you know, mess with this whole thing. I don't have a monitor on top because now I have a microphone, so I'm not really sure um, about the exposure. So let me check this stuff out. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. Now because this is a passive microphone, it's probably not going to pick up a lot of the ambient noise because when I use my Rode VideoMic NTG, which is a directional gain, you know, actively gain control microphone, it's also picking up all of the sound from back there. So this one, hopefully, uh, yeah, this is gonna be noisy probably or, or, or echoey, you know, that's, that's the thing that I'm mostly worried about. So let's go outside and see how that works. Okay, so this is how this sounds outside. I mean, I have no idea why I don't have a jacket because it's, it's still winter here in our lovely country and uh, well, we have a beautiful day. Actually, today we went to um, the kind of the capital of this local area in Slovenia and I wanted to photograph um, the carnival. You know, I just wanted to take photographs for myself. There's no client work, so just kind of for my personal collection. And we came there, a bunch of people were you know, present, but yeah, no carnival. I mean, Corona took that away as well. So. So I'm like dual recording right now. I'm kind of running out of ideas for gear, gear reviews. I mean, I have so much gear to review and I just don't, I never get to it. You know, I never, I never start reviewing stuff. So maybe, you know, I mean, the Boya microphone was the first thing I bought besides from a camera and a lens when I started this, this channel and I wanted to, you know, maybe. I mean, it's so small. I mean, you guys can see it right here. You know, it's like, it's like the smallest microphone and it has a teeny tiny deck head on. So there's a comparison, you know, Osmo Action and the Sony A7 III. Um, this one's shaking because it has flimsy legs. I mean, you guys can see it. It's, uh, it's not a proper tripod, actually. This is how it works. Now I can test out, you know, the microphones in the games. I know that the Boya microphone on the Osmo doesn't really work very well. I mean, it, it has this weird muffled sound. I'm hoping that on the Sony it's going to be a little bit better. So hopefully this is going to work. You know what, I'm just going to go inside because here it's it's freezing cold. So this one is really cool because I can control the complete exposure just with this one thing. So I have my shutter speed set to 150th of a second. I have my ISO typically set to the lowest, so to 800 now on the Sony. And my aperture is typically um, wide open, so f2.8. So and I can and I can control the whole exposure by just turning this one one dial on the camera, which of course I don't have on right now because, uh, well, I'm indoor, so. It's these types of simplifications that I really like when it comes to vlogging and when it comes to making videos. Like, you know, having a simple microphone on the camera and, you know, just having a simple piece of gear. Now, this was not very cheap, actually. This cost, I think, was like 130 euros. So definitely not the cheapest ND filter, but it's, it's an 82 millimeter thread. So the smaller ones come in around like 90 or something like this. I have an ND filter for my Osmo action. Actually, I have three of them. So this is from Polar Pro, uh, and it sticks on magnetically. But it's a uh, well, it's not a variable ND filter, which means I have to change them. No. The one thing that I haven't gotten used to with the Sony camera is that it doesn't have a tally light or a flip-out monitor. So I have no idea if I'm recording if I don't stick my my smartphone on top as a as a video monitor. So I've, I've talked about this on this channel and it's really, really annoying. It's annoying to a point where, well, it's annoying actually, but you know, there are ways to go around it with using stuff. So another cool piece of gear is the wrist strap or band or whatever this is called. This is from uh, Peak Design. And I, I mean, you guys probably know what this is because I've seen a lot of a lot of photographers and a lot of YouTubers actually use Peak Design products for, for straps and for just kind of quick, quick release um, 
clutches or whatever this is called. It's like a quick release attachment. The cool thing about this is that you can carry your camera in your hand and it attaches to the camera so you don't have to you know, have a long strap waving all, you know, all, all around you. So this is cool. So another um, simplification to the whole you know, YouTube slash photography world. We have the DJI FPV batteries charging. I was also messing with the rates for my FPV drone today because by default this thing comes at 420 degrees per second. So if you push the joystick all the way to one side, it's going to um, do you know like a full loop and a little bit more. So 420 degrees within a second. Now, but then I've changed it to 600 degrees per second, which you know I've seen people on the internet doing this. And if I play the video games like Lift Off or, or Uncrashed FPV drone simulators, I have that set to 600. The problem. With this, however, is that if I set it so sensitive, so fast actually, it feels like I can't really control it smoothly. So now I've set it to 300, so half of what I had, and, and I threw it around um, outside just a little bit, you know, I didn't want to um, you know, mess with the neighbors. And what well, feels much smoother. Now it's not going to be a freestyle drone anymore, it's going to be more of a cinematic flying kind of, you know, just enjoying the flight and getting smooth videos. So I've simplified that as well today. So kind of a lot of simplifications because it's a Saturday and I have no idea what to make for a video. So it's these kind of small things that, you know, maybe you know, inspire you guys to find, find simplifications in your life as well and just give you joy. So thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, hit the like button and let me know how the Boya microphone actually sounds. You know, is it, is it usable? I mean, I have no idea. This is the first time I'm using it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.